I'm in Vienna to participate in a round table that's being hosted by the OSCE on the role of women in preventing encountering violent extremism. This event was actually a follow-on to an event that took place in December on the role of women in radicalization, so specifically women uh, in their involvement in terrorist organizations or encouraging other people to participate in terrorist organizations. So the session that we had uh, these last two days was really an opportunity to look at the role that women can have uh, in helping to prevent terrorism and helping to counter violent extremism. The role of women in terrorism and counterterrorism has really been a neglected topic, um, especially in Western responses to terrorism. Uh, women participate both in terrorist organizations and have an important role to play in countering terrorism. And I think it's important for uh, participating states within the OSCE to recognize both the role that women play in terrorist organizations, but also the opportunities for women to play in countering these terrorist organizations. How women can serve as early warning signs um, to recognize signs of radicalization within their families or within their communities. We talked about uh, opportunities for women to offer counter-narratives um, against the, the narratives of terrorist organizations and the importance of having women participate in those counter-narratives. Uh, and then we also talked about uh, the role of government in providing empowerment opportunities for women to play a role in countering terrorism. OSCE has such an important uh, convening role in providing formats um, like, like this conference for member states to share some of their good practices, to share some of their lessons learned, to share some of their mistakes with regards to gender integration into the issue of violent extremism. I think uh, from this conference specifically, uh, there was a demand or, or a request rather uh, for a framework uh, to be developed as to how member states can better integrate gender into their counterterrorism strategies um, within their own communities. Well, the, the U.S. is often uh, on the forefront of sort of leading the way with regards to counterterrorism policy. And I think uh, we have a wonderful opportunity because many states look to our counterterrorism policies as best practices. Uh, we have a wonderful opportunity to uh, demonstrate what we are doing within our own government to integrate gender into both uh, our counterterrorism uh, policies as well as our, our terrorism responses. Uh, so again, the OSCE format is a wonderful way for us to share our best practices as well as to hear from other member states with regards to their experiences trying to integrate gender into uh, terrorism and counterterrorism policies and programs.